Hi guys, Peter Finch here and welcome down to the final part of this Golf Bit of Course vlog, the USA versus Europe. And as Rick looks sultry into the camera, I had a little bit of a mic issue here. So there's a bit of static on this clip and a clip just in about a minute and a half. So I'm only going to jump in a couple of times and the rest of the audio is absolutely fine. The match is very finely poised. So I am currently one up with four holes to play, but these last four holes at Mir... Boy, oh boy, can they jump up and kick you right in the bottom if you're not careful. I am currently striking my irons absolutely abysmally. And Rick is just saying how up and down it actually is. This next hole is a par 3. Only a short one today, 150 yards. Rick was going in with an 8 time and I will choke down on a little bit of a 7. Rick is, of course, using the Patrick Reed irons, ironically, as he is representing Team Europe. And should I slip into Texas Pete for a moment here? Howdy folks, Ricky's just about to hit his A9 in here, and it's going a little bit left. You can see how he's desperately trying to hold off that club face, but he's left himself a decent putt for a birdie there. And here he is, Texas Pete looking resplendent in a Gray McDowell accent in red. And <laughs> why is that, Pete? Yeah, I'm going to drop that, guys. Um, I was just left of Rick on the green. I was using the Mizuno MP64 irons, um, and I wasn't getting on with the that well <laughs> to be honest with you but it did leave me a birdie putt which i did race a little bit past now let's get back to the audio from the course and i'll speak to you in a moment yeah rick is just incredibly focused today he's probably more focused today than on many course vlogs i just have to re i've got like think about you know when your phone is down to like three percent battery yeah and you like reserve every single aspect of it. So you like, you really you turn the volume right down, you turn the lights down, <laughs> you close all the apps off. Sometimes you might put it in airplane mode just to reserve a bit of energy. That's where I'm at right now. Yeah. That coffee, in fairness, that added 5%. Shouldn't have moved the line. Did you go further left? Yeah. <laughs> I've got a good I hope so. <laughs> yeah, pace hasn't just quite been on, is it? Is it on me? No, oh, gimme, gimme, if you want. What do the people want? Okay. No, gimme, gimme. I, I would, I would quite happily do it. But experience on this platform has told me that, that is not what the people want. Oh, yeah. so the gimme, the gimme, the gimme, gimme police <laughs> don't like experience it, right? Experience on this channel has told me there would be a mob <laughs> out in search of us. Good, solid pot. 371 yards off a little bit of a forward tee here. The Ryder Cup captains have obviously put their heads together and been like, you know what, we're going to make this hole drivable for these boys. Wow. <laughs> and then they had another chat. They were like, what, Rick and Pete? And they were like, yeah. Well, let's pull them back. Um, little dog, I love this hole. Um, some more to play. Wow. <laughs> You went proper, well, that went a little bit deep there, actually. <laughs> uh, we'll let Rick hit a shot, then we'll try and get a little bit more information on this. <laughs> let, let's go out to our on-course reporter and try and find out what happened there. Rick, um, thanks, for, thanks for stopping, but... There's a new part of club I found today. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting a bit delusional. You still love this hole, though, right? <laughs> so after seeing Rick hit that top shot, I uh, decided to hit driver, and I pushed it. And there's an out of bounds fence down the right, which I didn't actually realise how much that it cut in. So I've hit that shot. And I'm like, yeah, it's fine. I don't know what the issue is, Rick. I don't know why you're getting so excited. So we go down and find Rick's ball. He's still 325 yards to the back of the green. So he takes an iron and he just wants to chop it over the ditch that runs through the middle of the hole. So at this moment, I'm still feeling quite confident. Um, and as Rick actually hit this, it only just got over the water. So I'm, I'm fine with it. You know, I'm down with it. Texas Pete doesn't worry. Um, but then, all right, update, all craziness is going on. So Pete had an inkling that his ball might have landed. I was less certain. And it seems to be that I'm somewhat correct. You're less, 
your less certainty seemed to be more certain than my my non-certainty. I didn't think I saw something down, but to be honest, I didn't actually realise that there's a there's a fence which is just <clears throat> yeah. in there as well. So where uh, I don't know if you're able to see it, no, you can't really. Where these kind of wooden bits are here, they're trees, but you can just make out the fence, and that is boundary of the golf course. And according to rule 30. 1C, don't quote me on that rule, that's out of bounds. Decided to conserve my energy and just uh, just wait for the next before winning the next four on the bounce and lifting the YouTube Ryder Cup with an eye trophy. Please go out of bounds. So after that disgraceful hole, I've always loved that <laughs> We're on the 16th, which is 435 yards, but it's a sharp dog leg around the corner. Rick is going to be going stinger. I'm going to be going three wood with a big draw, and it's a very special three wood as well. Yeah, that's pretty good. Whoa, sit, sit, sit. I think that's in the shadow of the yeah, hedge. Yeah, I think it's all right, but I thought on that line I wasn't going to be too long, and I'm honest, I expected a bit more draw on it. I'm going to go more attacking, ladies and gentlemen. You're going over? I've got something in my locker which I've not pulled out yet. <laughs> Ten extensions. Hold on there. <laughs> oh, hello. So, quite frankly, if you want to give me this hole now, <laughs> you, you've not really hit this club yet. <laughs> I think I've literally hit it twice. Right, so you're going to go more attacking. I'm going to go more attacking, Rick. I'm going to the green. <laughs> okay. That is a phenomenal hit. Not, it's going to be on the edge. Though, it's going it? to be right on the edge of, of exceptionalness. You know, or still in the trees. In all fairness, it, it'll be okay, just depending if it's going to be blocked out, because it's quite... Yeah. I remember it being quite bare. It is. <laughs> hey, Rick. <laughs> yeah, Rick, Rick was either hitting a shot there, or... <laughs> um, talk about being in the shadow of the Outer Bounds. I mean, that is unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, that is the way. He just kicked on and went on so much. Now the pin's down there, so it'll be a long way to go, so it'll be an exceptional shot to get anywhere near. I am okay, I've got through the trees. It is a bit of a, it's a funny one this one, because you can see how brown this looks. So, during the summer, I would have... This, oh. this hole notoriously gets really burnt out. Yeah, you can imagine this in the summer, you'd have had to like, literally snap up a 7-iron to get around. What? How am I going to hit this shot? The, the thing is, if you want to go at the green, it's a snap hook, but the way you can see the way Rick's setting up there. I feel like I'm just aiming at the houses. You're literally aiming at every single one of the houses. So if you're gonna hit this shot, it's trust, isn't it? Commit. Be brave. Let me just phone number 37. <laughs> wow. This is okay. Come on, Rick. Come on. Yeah, well out of that, mate. Well out. Not gonna get there, but it's a good shot. Just down to the left hand side. I didn't I didn't fully go for it and I kinda wish I had I'm not I'm not surprised, look at all the houses. Okay, Pete after taking a tighter line, probably slightly blocked out from the flag still. Well it definitely is blocked out from the flag still if I just zoom past Pete's shoulder. Pin's yeah, just there. It's 152, the wind isn't helping my cause, but it's just gonna be a low a little low rake. Um but when I get it close, I'm gonna have to pitch it in the heart in the Kind of mouth of the green and that's obviously hitting into an upslope however with you out of position if i do get a good one away we'll be going one up with three to play whoa and that is a complete lie because there's only two holes to play after this <laughs> it's been very presumptuous keep you on your toes kids right also has to aim at the house at the end <laughs> and yeah, bend but with, it but within a time we kind of know that it ain't going to go right no so we're right <laughs> <laughs> just aim Aim at number 32 and just hit it. Yeah. <laughs> Here we so kidded. I can swing with. I as can if, swing free. As if these houses have numbers. <laughs> yeah, they've all got names. Very <laughs> <laughs> no numbers there. 
Looks good. Oh, wow, looks exceptional. <laughs> oh. Started moving. Now. That would have been drama. <laughs> you'd, have seen, you'd have seen a full on Finchy meltdown if that had got. Oh, wow, oh, that wow. was. Uh, that was if, starting to come back into the bunker. If, if that had gone from like, one of my best ever shots to finishing in the bunker, I'd have been a little bit testy. <laughs> Lobber. Over the bunker, pin is tight, drama is high. Rick's confidence is, we go over to the man himself. Well, he's chuckling, so I, I'm presuming that's a good thing. Nipped it amazing, it's a bit big maybe. <laughs> Where's that zip? <laughs> I'll tell you what with mine, I actually got, I think I got a little bit lucky, it's actually on a a tuft of grass there. If that tuft of grass hadn't been there, I think it would have come down a little bit further. However, those are the fine margins on which these matches are won and lost. And Rick here with a chance to double up on the drama, a double D of drama, if you will. This is either going in or it's going off the green. There's like no, no two ways there. This is really downhill. Well, perfect pace. Go on, these are nice lag foot. <laughs> I I kind of saw that going left as well, but there was that didn't move at all. It was straight. You wanna, all right, well, Rick's gonna go try and finish this one off. All right. If you want to go try and finish it off, yeah, it's it's fine. I mean, uh, if if yeah, my right, mem whatever. if my memory uh, if my memory suits, I've never really seen that in a rider cut. <laughs> Where someone just did sit across the green and it was just like. <laughs> I'd, ima I'd imagine that would be some controversy. <laughs> right, Pete for Birdie after being rescued by a tuff of grass. The lucky so and so. Just being pulled to putter. As ugly as that was, it's all you really needed to do. What's happening there? Oh, you've got off a par, but I still need to hold mine, don't I? Yeah. You go first. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> Stranger things have happened. Oh, wow. Interesting. Really interesting. When I look back on the Ryder Cup, the you know proper Ryder Cup, I just I remember, you know, Jacqueline Nicholas, the concession. Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Tony Jacqueline. Oh, I think that Jacqueline Nicholas. Jacqueline. I mean, she was lovely as well. <laughs> I met her on a Saturday night in Rotherham. She worked at the King Cod. Very good putt, well in. <laughs> <laughs> so this to go one up. <laughs> There'll be many people out there watching thinking, no, you know what, Rick, you're right there, it's not given that. Plenty more meat on that bone. Right, to win the hole and to go one up with two to go. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a little bit of a tough to win. They just, <laughs> just knocked me in my back throw there. I was right. still a bit nervous. We go down 17 peaks, one up with two to play. I had to do that. I needed some glimmer of hope, but the nasty tactics didn't work. Two holes to go, two good holes as well. And we're back. 17th hole, short one, 335 yards. Kind of get a bull if you absolutely munch one on with the right line, but it is a dog leg to the right and gets tight up there. Yeah, it's in, into wind as well now, so. So it's really a positional shot down there. Could be hit with an iron, but we've got two holes left of this momentous match. I did, I didn't even think. I'm just happy, I'm just happy he got this far. I just pulled 
big stick. Shot. Really nice shot. I just heard a ball land in my back. I know, yeah. There's not some, that much of a... Yeah, great shot. That. Yeah, I was kind of hoping it would put you off. <laughs> wow. I don't fear that. It's kind of got the fit between my teeth now. I yeah, I can tell. I feel like I've gone so far with this match. More than, expect, more than I expected to, so now it's like, well, oh. come on. It is. It is very good. Uh, it's just going to go down by the right of those trees. It's going to be right, fairway, right semi, but absolutely fine. So two shots that have found the fairway. Pete here, just middle of the fairway. I've, I'm just on the right side of the fairway right there. It's weirdly a, a rogue practice ball there as well. But Random ball. It's not ours. Um, how far have you got, Pete? Uh, I've got 89 yards. 89 to the flag that's perched just on this upside down saucepan. Great green, this it. Slopes from front to back, so not the easiest to get it to actually spin back, but from this distance it should stop pretty quick. So you need to spin when it's in the hole, Rick. That's true. Whoa. That has spun up the hill. <laughs> First bit of actual action from this 56. So a tiny bit short, you think? I, don't um, know, I can't quite tell. I think it's pretty much been out. I think it's okay. Looks like a bit of an infinity green from this angle. Just drops off the world. 77. Interesting. Oh, I don't really have a club for that. They've not, they've not made 65 degree wedges just yet. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just go through a bit of a phase with Rick. We need to, need to introduce him to like a half swing, but like a proper one. I remember a time not so long ago where you conquered the half swing and you were in it really well. Yeah, I remember the course fog. It was like just in three hours of me going, yeah, there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, what club you got? I found my 77. It's a very similar line to me, actually. Uh-oh. Some absolute, got some absolute rippage on that going back up the hill there. Very impressed with myself. No, not that much. So Rick's now coming up onto the green, then he goes downhill. It's going to be downhill left to right as well. Nope. A little bit aggressive. Well, this is closing out. Sure is. Shut, Close the match. Shut the door. Finish the job. Take the trophy back home to Texas. <laughs> Pete from USA to win the match. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, what a, what, a, what a weak effort that was. But hey, you know what? It's all tactical. <laughs> all right, Ricky boy. This is it, really. <laughs> Well, really, it is. <laughs> Take it door, miss. It's a good stroke. Oh, it's a great stroke. <laughs> what the hell? Takes him down the last. So the match is done. If Pete cannot lose, he's still one up with one to play. Wow. Oh, man. Just the like pressure. Been, just like been the most intense five holes <laughs> vlogging done in ages. I'm knackered. But I'm not that tired, because the adrenaline's flowing. I don't feel tired when I'm flowing this much. Interesting, Rick. <laughs> Interesting club choice for you on the last tier. I brought, I brought him out. Him, her, okay, yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the original driver, the Ping G20 pink one. This is Bubba Long in pink. And I promised to bring it out. You did. And here it is. Pink grip, pink shaft, pink head. Silver face, silver and pink bottom. 18th hole, par five. <laughs> Which is around the corner, and the line is literally over the corner of the trees, isn't it? I'm just going to try and bubble long, slice one over there. Right, Pete's one up with one to play. The drama has been electrifying. Solid as a rock.
Yeah, very nice. Nice kick down the path, everything. Yeah, was, to be fair, it was a little bit further left than I was aiming, but it got a beautiful kick. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go like stream here. It's not a long hole, this is only 490 yards off this tee, but it's a super sharp dog leg and the approach <laughs> is pretty dramatic. So the reason why I've not used this driver all the way around, because even though it's in bubble long in pink, it's a regular shaft, high balance point. Let's say not suited. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you know, Rick, if this was in an x diff shaft, if you think he would have hit less than every single shot with this on the way around, you're mistaken. Limited edition, what year? Why? Comment below. <laughs> oh, right over the corner. Don't know. I'm Should not sure. Okay? That's either going to be amazing or in the... After all this drama... So, yeah, we, we kind of drove down here, I think, and then we said, oh, there's a ball there. Away from where I thought I was going to be. Yeah, it's like it, it must have just clipped a tree and fallen straight down. Actually, lucky, I suppose, if it had caught the other side, it'd have been down in the mirror, hence the name. Um, well, Rick, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, if I was a, if I was a betting man, I'd probably be lumping on Texas Pete right now. And you like, you like that with a fade? the way you're looking, yeah, you're looking quite aggressive with your line here. Let me just drop down a little bit, a little bit lower for this one. I am ready. <laughs> Why are you asking me? <laughs> I am ready. Come on, through the middle, punchy fade. Make it happen. Oh, it's got through. You see it? No. Like, see where the umbrella is? Yeah, yeah. In line with that. Woo! <laughs> Damn, son! I mean, it clipped a few branches, granted, but it's true. It didn't clip those branches, it took those branches off! Sorry, Greenkeeper, those were really old trees. <laughs> so a splendid drive, it has to be said, Pete. Well, thank you very much, Rick. I appreciate that. Shouting a bit, of plane going over. How far have you got? Uh, I can't quite pick it up, but the 150's there. Is the 150 to the middle? You are, according to this, if it focuses, you're 165 to the front, 176 to the middle. Well, I'm going to rely on probably my most dependable club of the day today, and that's my 7-iron. Okay. Which has, on average, gone 40 yards left. <laughs> so you're going to aim into the lake? I'm going to aim at the flag, because it takes it away, doesn't it, if I miss? I'll be honest. Looks a bit short. That looks short. Well, Rick, after his quite unbelievable oh. approach, is actually pin high. <laughs> Sliced it a bit more, I could have got there. Actually, pin high. I think I'm short in the front bunker, so. 51 yards away. 60, 66 yards away. Crikey. Right. <laughs> so, you're going to go lob? Who knows, Pete? So, I'm he's, my best. he's maybe going to go lob. <laughs> I've got lob in my hand. It's a great strike. Maybe a bit left. Yeah, good for distance, mate. Give yourself that chance. Outside opportunity. An outside opportunity. But that's all you can give, that's all you can give yourself. <laughs> Harsh. Well, the drama continues. Pete's in the bunker here on 18. Not much green to... Oh, no, there's actually quite a lot of green to work. <laughs> there's a fair bit of green. It's just whether it's going to be close enough to give me that gimme, if it's going to force me to put a few whole yards. So much, so much to consider. Lord permutate. Touch of an angel. Well done, Peter Finch. Well done indeed. That is a gimme. And I think you'll find that that gives me five minutes of Texas P privileges. I've been waiting nine holes for this goddamn moment. I know. I love those par fives. Right. Ricky, he's going to be coming down the slope. Looks like it's going to break from right to left. I've known Ricky since he was a wee boy, deadly on a combine harvester. Sets his put off, it's gonna start turning. Has it got the pace? Oh. Not quite. Nice, that was good as well. nice put, good effort. Oh, you win it one up. That's the match. Right guys, that is it. Golf bidder challenge is over, Rough. mate. I tried to put up a good battle there, Europe, I really did. It was good, I mean, we took you down to the last. I mean, what more, what challenge. more could you want? 18 holes of competitive match play golf between the USA and Europe. It's almost like 
That's a theme at the moment. Can't quite place my <laughs> finger on it. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Golfer, thank you so much for setting these videos up. It's been a real treat to get out on the course and play with some really good clubs. Please go check them out as well. Their website is linked below if you are looking for some clubs. Thank you to me for having us down. It's been an absolute blast. It has. Guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like. Leave us a comment down below. Who do you think is going to win the... All oh, right, we can say it. Ryder Cup. <laughs> We'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Stay tuned, lots more to come. Subscribe to both channels and we'll see you next time. Peace out.